all of this hate against LGBTQ plus people has led to hate preachers essentially um, really going full mask off, right? So this article here from Only Sky reads, Christian hate preacher calls for the execution of every single homosexual. To mark Pride Month, Dylan Oz of Steadfast Baptist Church spread more vile hate speech against LGBTQ plus people. Now, just for a moment, stop and think about the 2010s. Do you remember the Westboro Baptist Church? They would protest the uh, funerals of soldiers. They'd protest everywhere, Lady Gaga concerts. And they had signs that said, um, God hates F-slurs. F-slurs die, God laughs. Remember how everybody found that rhetoric appalling? There was one video in particular that stands out to me where you know they were screaming and protesting and one man who was stopped in his car with his window down looked at them and he said, look, I don't support gay people, but you're going a little bit too far here. Now, we're somehow in a worse situation where Christian hate preachers are literally calling for the execution of gay people. We're at child-friendly drag shows. You have mass harassment, their locations being shared publicly by hate accounts. And this is just something that most of the right accepts. We're no longer in the days where, you know, you see these conservatives who are like, man, you know, I, I don't like gay people either, but saying that God hates the F slur, that's a little bit too far for me. No, now they're all on the same page as the Westboro Baptist Church. This is the modern GOP. Very Christian of them. Exactly, Northern. This is the modern GOP. This is where we're at. Now let's watch the video. Content warning. He is going to say that gay people should be executed. So if you don't want to see this, you've been warned. But I want people to understand where we're at as a country and how serious this threat to LGBTQ plus people is. And the threat doesn't just stem from them. But I'll explain a little bit more about that in a second. What does God say is the answer, is the solution for the homosexual in 2022 here in the New Testament, here in the book of Romans, that they are worthy of death? These people should be put to death. Every single homosexual in our country should be charged with the crime, the abomination of homosexuality that they have. They should be convicted in a lawful trial. They should be sentenced with death. They should be lined up against the wall and shot in the back of the head. That's, right. That's what God teaches. That's what the Bible says. If you don't like it, you don't like God's word because that is what God says. Hmm. What does God say is the answer? How loving of him. Now, when you see rhetoric like that, literally calling for the death of all gay people, and you see Tucker Carlson promoting people who identify as Christian fascists on his show, I mean, what do you think is going to come of this? More terrorist threats against LGBTQ spaces. And the problem is that the threat doesn't just stem from these people. Queer youth, they see this. They see Fox News. They hear their Fox News watching grandparents and parents and siblings parrot these talking points. What does that do to them mentally? If you're developing and you're a young gay person, what does that do to you? It fucks with your head. I've explained before how I knew I was uh, gay at a very, very young age. Very young age. Probably five, right? Like, I didn't realize I was a homosexual, but, you know, I would say things to my mom. I want a boyfriend, not a girlfriend. You know, there were things that I could look back now and realize that, yeah, it was clear that it's because I was gay. But when I started to realize I was gay when I went through puberty or started to go through puberty... I was horrified. And so, you know, I made a little bit of a suicide pact with myself. And I said, look, if it is true that I'm gay, seems like it, then if I ever plan on coming out, I'm going to kill myself. Because the pain that I bring my family from killing myself will be less severe than the pain from me telling them that I'm gay. Right? This is what I was thinking when I was like 11 years old. No 11-year-old or 12-year-old should think that. And so thankfully, I didn't go down that path. I didn't self-harm or kill myself. But that's not the case for every single queer youth. A lot of them end up killing themselves. And maybe they don't want to, but you know, if you come out to your parent or you're outed and your parent kicks you out and you have nowhere to go, you're homeless, you get rejected and you feel like your life is ruined, you can see how they easily go down this path. So when you see this, this is a call for violence. Everyone needs to wake the fuck up. 
If you have a Republican family member and you are que you're a queer person or a queer ally, let them know that this is what they're supporting. This is the Republican Party now. They made LGBTQ plus hate socially, not just socially acceptable again, but something that is good. You get social clout if you are anti-LGBTQ+. Now, that's not all that this individual says. Christian hate preacher Dylan Oz justified his calls for the execution of gay people by claiming falsely, obviously, all homosexuals are pedophile. So this is why the groomer talk is so dangerous, because if you just say that gays should be executed because you disagree with homosexuality and God doesn't like homosexuality, that doesn't really compel people to do violence. What compels people to do violence is this inherent danger that they supposedly pose. So if you get people to think that drag queens are grooming children and gay people are actually a legitimate threat to children, then when people do violence against gay people, they feel as if it's justified. Because if you just say, oh, God hates gay people, as the Westboro Baptist Church did, okay, that's vile. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't. But that doesn't necessarily, you know, um, put this desire in you to want to take action. But when you say gays are pedophiles, therefore they should be executed, Somebody might think, well, I don't want to kill anybody, but maybe I have to do harm if it means I protect children. This is what goes through the minds of deranged people. Uh, honestly, Mike, I've been afraid to mention sexuality and saying I may be, uh, but curious, but not sure. My family might kill me. Yeah, it's one thing that I will always say is do not come out unless you are in a safe environment and it's impossible to suss that out but what i mean is that like if you live with your parents and you're unsure and you could become unhoused as a result of it wait until you're in a more stable situation you have to take precautions before i came out i was anticipating that i would be kicked out of my house i lived with my parents so i took the proper precautions i made arrangements to stay with my friend um so you have to set yourself up in a good situation before you come out just to make sure right things have improved in some ways where parents are more accepting by and large, but not all of them, and things are going backwards socially. So maybe, you know, your open-minded parent who was okay with it before, maybe thinks, ooh, wait, I'm hearing that gays are groomers, might not have the same opinion now. So protect yourself. That's I can't emphasize that enough. Well, let's watch this video here. Again, content warning. Here's the thing. Here's why reprobates, here's why homosexuals are so dangerous to society. They're not like other sinners in the sense that every single day that they are alive, they're being filled with more and more and more unrighteousness. That is a scary thing. Wow. So the unrighteousness grows exponentially, right? So he's not even saying what the other preachers say. You know, the not necessarily hate preachers, but bigoted preachers who will say, look, yeah, being gay is a sin, but we all have sin. I mean, that's fucked up too, because being gay is not sinful. Loving someone is not a sin, but he's saying, no, 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 no. Gay people are unrighteous, and their sin grows, actually. They get more sinful each day that they remain sodomites. We say that all homosexuals are pedophiles. And let me make that very clear. All homosexuals are pedophiles. Right. And people say, well, what about all the straight people that molest children? They're f right. I don't care what you call them. If a, if a person is with a child, you're f you're reprobate, you're sodomite. I don't care what kind of classifications our government wants to give them. All homosexuals are pedophiles. Now, here's the thing. So here's by definition, if you're a straight child molester, he's saying, no, actually, you're gay. You're an F slur. Isn't that convenient? So you change the definition of pedophile to gay person. And then, see? Makes sense. What I said is true because of the way that I've defined this. Isn't that insane? This is their logic. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that every single homosexual that's alive right now has committed that act with a child already. Oh, well, thank goodness. Because it could be that they haven't had the opportunity yet and they will at some point later in their life. This is why we need to put these people to death through the proper channels of the government because the Bible says that they are being filled. So here's the thing. Yes, maybe not every single homosexual has been with a child yet, but what about tomorrow when they're filled with a little more unrighteousness? What about in a week from now when they're a little filled with a little more unrighteousness? What about 20 years from now? What are they going to be like? If you look up the statistics on these sodomites that abuse children, they're with so many children, it'll make you throw up. It's disgusting. These people are not normal. They're not your average everyday sinners. They're what the Bible calls reprobates. They're rejected by God. They have no hope of salvation. Now look at verse number 30. 
again, compare this to the Westboro Baptist Church. What they said was tame. When they held up signs that said, God hates Esslers, man, can we go back to those days? Can we go back to the days where it's like, oh, fuck, the Westboro Baptist Church is protesting in my cities? Because they just said God hates Esslers. He's saying we have to kill the gay people. He's not saying this behind closed doors. He's saying this to his congregation. And I'm sure this church is uh, tax exempt. Isn't that insane? Yeah. So that's what we have to deal with if you are a gay person in the United States of America. We're going backwards at a very alarming rate and every single person should be horrified.